Um, yesterday, we got back from our excursion. It was exactly what we expected. Exactly what we expected it to be. Um, we got lucky. It was some more than a meal. experience uh, my mom and her friends celebrating 60 years of life the kids had a lot of fun but we were just out really late and so we were exhausted we got home at like one something and uh, we just went straight to bed today we had to wake up very early to go on the road trip TT adventure we got in a maxi taxi drove to another maxi taxi so we can take this trip with some of mom's friends. We're at the first stop. So the first stop is this doubles place where I guess it's all part of the package when you pay. So like your wristband gives you like certain amount of food or whatever, but I guess if you wanna buy more, you can always buy more. So everybody gets two doubles. And the doubles here, they said they make it with oil. So we're getting our two with some tamarind sauce and some pepper sauce. Yeah, everybody's here enjoying, having fun. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. The kids are tired and exhausted as well. We did not eat breakfast, so this is like the first thing that we're gonna eat today. And hopefully it tastes good. Close in the sticks. Sorry, bacon things is popping, but ain't nothing like home. Real home doubles without beef. So now she really.
stopped at a barbecue called Bumpy's Barbecue. All the meals are included on this trip, so we just gave away our food to my sister and to my god sister. But um, now we're at Pitch Lake. We're just, everyone's just eating the food that they just got and we're just eating our snacks. That's so windy. Mash it up, spread it out, and the heat of the sun will bind it to create a surface. That is how they build roads from since in the days of the horse and carriage, meaning right. before the engine was invented. Now, the pitch lake is known as the eighth natural wonder of the world. Why it is known as the eighth natural wonder of the world? It is because people from all over the world have been coming to see it, to walk on it, and in later years to obtain it for their road building, in later years the purple of airport runways, the making of sea lines for marine cables, pipelines, and so on. gave us one of their doubles Jeffy and I ate three and then the kids didn't really want their second one so we saved it for them for later because we knew we won't, wouldn't be able to eat we also brought their snacks so we munched on that but obviously it's not enough it's not like we could pack stuff and bring it because not like we had Tupperware like you know how we're normally prepped like we didn't have Tupperware we didn't have like those type of things so we were literally just starving all day just like after breakfast yeah after it was a wrap. And, and then also we had a late start because you know we got there and we literally time. waited for like an hour and a half for others to arrive and then so we're sitting there we didn't eat breakfast so we were starving we had kids who went to bed late who were tired, who were crying, um, annoyed with us. I'm like, don't be annoyed with us. Go do it, go tell your grandmother. Like they'll speak their mind, but they're not gonna really, really speak their mind like they speak their mind to us. Um, but yeah, it was just exactly what we expected it to be. I just knew that it was not gonna be fun for us and it wasn't. We were just feeling tortured, even all the way to the end. And we got back here like very late, like eight o'clock which is late for us because now we got to figure out something to eat. It's Sunday, we're in a different country. So we literally just ate cereal. But as far as the trip, we've gone on tours many times and each time there was something. Always something. <laughs> it was like, yeah, we survived it. We vacationers that might sit on our asses down <laughs> and not doing touristy stuff. And 
I think the kids are too. If the bulls around, that's all they want to do. It sounds just like what we want to do. Got to experience a place that we won't typically go to at all. Tarp, what is it? Pitch Lake. Pitch Lake with tarp. Asphalt. Asphalt. Natural asphalt. It's entertaining because I was melting. It wasn't made for kid, a kids. It's not a kids' tour yeah. either. You we have nine-year-old, an eight-year-old, and a five-year-old. Nothing's mm -hmm. exciting. No, they were hot. Oh, they no were worry. dressed appropriately for. I wasn't dressed appropriately for it. Mm -hmm. it we didn't really know what, what we were doing anyway, so it was just a it was just a mess. But we know that when we say no, it has to be a no because we know exactly. our family dynamics. We can't do it to please others because we knew, we knew from the start, we tried to get out of it. We couldn't get out of it because it was just like more so like we thought it was like a bonding experience, but it wasn't a bonding experience because my, my mom wasn't there. Literally, it wasn't an emotional thing. It was just nothing. We were just stuck in a car. So it was like, it just felt like it was not worth me going, my family going and just driving to places that we can't eat, seeing other people eat, being tortured. It's exactly what I said would happen, and it happened. Picking up food, and, um, out. Yeah, so my response was, I last minute brought my headphones because something told me bring my headphones. And what happened when, when we got on that, that maxi taxi and we were waiting for everyone to arrive, I literally put my headphones in and I listened to the Bible and I listened to just music worshiping God because the amount of anger I felt, I did not want to distribute that to anybody. Like, oh, even waking up the kids, like I wasn't even mad at them for having a tantrum because knowing that, you know, they went to bed very late. They went to bed at like close to two o'clock in the morning and then having to wake up at like seven o'clock. Sure. I've six i already knew they were gonna be cranky then didn't didn't get to eat breakfast so i just was very calm with them and then for myself i was like i can't rush because for me i like being on time but that day i was just like it's nothing i can do like i already said how i felt i expressed how i felt but i just didn't enforce it and so i was like i just literally have to you know, suck it up and just do it. I'm doing, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for my mom. But it was just like, girl, what is happening? Right? So I put my headphones in, listened to my music, listened to the Bible. And I was just like trying to zone out and just, and just trying to stay calm and, and you know, tempered because I was just like, how am I getting through this day? You know, but whatever. Jeffrey was said he felt like he should have brought his headphones and he just forgot it. But it was just like, not wrong with the, the music, but it was just like so much, you know, joy that I really wanted to listen to. But also like, you know, like everyone's having their own little conversation mm -hmm. and like, you're just trying to stay focused on not being upset or like tuning out people. But then I realized like, um, it's kind of good that he didn't bring his headphones because then the kids would have to suffer yeah. through that. You know what I mean? But for me, like, I'm glad that he, you know, stepped up in that way because I really needed it. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Like, I really needed it. Like, I just wanted to cry. I wanted to scream. I wanted to yell. And at the end of the night, I wanted to... Like at that point, I just wish I knew everybody in Trinidad so I could just call and get me and my family out of there. You know what I mean? But I don't know anyone. I can't walk anywhere. I like, I literally debated how do we walk home? Because I know it's not that far, but it's far. If you like, it's far by walking, but it's not far by driving, right? Where? At the drop off? The at drop -off? the end, yeah. Oh, okay. I was That's like, good. yeah, I good. was like, Cause I remember, you know, we took the straight highway and then we're not that far from the highway and then we turned up. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I feel like we go, you know, in my head, it's just me trying to like navigate, like 
not sitting here. But I was like, at that point when I heard her say to the friend that, oh no, I felt I dropped asleep. I didn't, I, I didn't get to call him. Cause he literally said, call when you get to this certain mark and then I'll be here by the time you get there. And I was just like, oh my, I sat down and I was getting eaten up by ants. And at that point I didn't even care. I was eat, getting eaten up by ants. I didn't know what I was gonna eat. I thought it was mosquitoes. But Nash said, um, did he point at the ant or something? And then I jumped. Cause I was like, seeing how I big they were, light. seeing how I was like, yup, I'm, that's what I'm getting eaten up. And I just jumped up and it was like, even though I was sitting for so long, it was like, it's like all the anger just rushed back through me. And I was like, I have to sit down because standing up right now, it's like, it's like torture now. Even though it was like two seconds from getting out the maxi. So that's why I sat down. Cause I was like, I have to calm down. Literally. I'm surprised you sat down. It's, you know, he knows. I don't sit down on the sidewalk, on the concrete nothing in the dark no i was like i have to sit down and calm down because i mean i was on the scene i think man. yeah jeffrey jeffrey was on a different level a level that we discussed before before we got married so he did what he was supposed to do boundaries the book that i read perfect book should have stood by it but i didn't anyway um today is a new day and I just know that um, I'm just trying to be chill for the rest of this trip. Um, I hope what you take away from this is that your no is a no and that's it. It doesn't matter what it is. And it's also a reminder for us. Like, just don't explore your boundaries. Man. Yeah. Especially when you have kids and you have to think about them and you know your kids. Mm -hmm. Your no is a no and that's it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Feel the love. You didn't say no, and we're like, you did. You said yes for you. <laughs> yeah. Feel the love.